Hello everybody and welcome to day three of this week's outdoor learning theme which is Get Sticky. Um, I hope lots of you have been taking advantage of the fantastic weather we've been having to get outside in your garden if you're lucky enough to have one or out with your household when you're exercising, going out for walks and enjoying the sunshine. So yesterday we practiced our knot tying and I hope you had a go at the three knots that we looked at yesterday. Today I'm going to show you two different things that you can make using your sticks that you've collected and the knots that we practiced. So the first thing is this. This is a spider web catcher. So the idea is that in a minute I'm going to put this somewhere in my garden where I think there might be lots of spiders and I'm hoping that a spider will choose to spin its web in the middle of this triangle part so that I can have a really close up look at its web. So I made this, can you see, with three sticks to make a triangle. And what I've done is I've used a square knot at each corner to join my sticks together. And then, once I'd made my triangle, I used one of my longer sticks and I attached my spiderweb catcher triangle to the top. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to go and put this somewhere in my garden where I think there might be some spiders and see if they will use this space to build their web. So I think a good place in my garden is underneath our trampoline. So if I just try and show you in the corner of our garden, can you see over there we have a trampoline and there are already quite a few spider webs in the corners of the trampoline frame underneath it. So where I'm going to put my spider web catcher is right next to one of the trampoline legs and I'll see if I can catch a spider's web in it to show you another day. Uh, a really good time of day to look for spider's webs to see if you've managed to catch one is first thing in the morning, particularly at this time of year, because overnight it gets quite cold and frosty which means that in the morning, the spider's webs are all glistening with frost. There's Mr. Callahan in the background, just coming out for his lunch. He's thought better of it and gone back inside. So that's where I'm going to put my spider web catcher. And I'll show you another morning if I've managed to catch any spider webs. So that's my first thing. The second thing that I've made is this. So remember I said yesterday, if you were out exercising with your household, you could try and collect any natural things that you see which were interesting. So around the corner from my house, there is a really big conifer tree, conifer tree or a pine cone tree. And these pine cones had fallen off onto the ground. So I thought I'd collect some of those. And I collected some bird's feathers which I saw. So I thought those were quite interesting things to collect. What I've done, remember yesterday I showed you that I'd made a cross using my square knot. So today I found just in my cupboard a little bit of ribbon to make a handle. So I tied that to the middle and then I tied a little piece of string around my pine cone and I hung a pine cone from each end of one of my sticks and I hung one from the middle and I tied my feathers onto that way, one halfway down. Now, years three and four and year five and six have recently done some work in outdoor learning about levers. So they will know that actually it's quite difficult to get your stick to balance horizontally, to balance across when you tie your pine cones on. And what I had to do was I tied one of mine too close to the end and it made my mobile lopsided. So I had to re-tie it closer to the middle to get it to balance. 
So whilst you're making your outdoor mobile, you're actually also doing a really bit of interesting science about levers and balancing. But I've still got my second stick that I haven't put anything on. So what I did was I had a look in my garden to see if I could find anything interesting there. And I found some lovely daisies growing on my lawn. So I picked a few daisies and what I've done is I've just tied them together with a little bit of string to make a little posy of flowers. And then I found these pretty little pink and purple flowers as well. And I've done the same with those. I've picked a couple of those and I've tied them around with a little bit of string to make a little posy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie those using, using my clove hitch that I learnt yesterday. I'm going to tie those onto the ends of each of my sticks. So I've got my purple one on that end and I'm going to do another clove hitch onto the other end of this stick so that I will then have some flowers on my mobile. Like so. And I think that looks super, super pretty. And what I'm going to do is find somewhere nice and sheltered in my garden to hang my mobile and I'll pop a picture up of where I've put my spider catcher and where I've put my mobile so you can see where I've put them. Okay. So if you've collected some things outdoors when you've been out and about, um, do it getting your exercise or in your garden, you can use natural things to make your mobile. But if you haven't been able to go outside, you can still make a mobile. Remember I said you can use pencils as the sticks and you can collect anything interesting that you find in your house to use as your little ornaments to put onto your mobile. So everybody can have a go at making one. Okay. Tomorrow is going to be our last activity using sticks and the kind of stick that you will need is what we call a green stick, one that's quite young and perhaps a little bit bendy. So when you're out on your walk today, if you're lucky enough to be able to get outside, you see if you can find a green stick, a young and bendy stick. And again, it can be shorter than your robot arm and thinner than your finger. So have fun making your spider catcher or your mobile and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye!